uh, we've got basically three key components that make up the weather system. There's the visual effects, so in the dry it's the iconic heat haze, um, in the wet it's the visual effects on the camera, on the cars themselves, the rain on the track, the puddles, the surface reflections, the rooster tails, the, the kick up spray from the tyres. The second aspect is how those visual effects tie into uh, the track simulation. But the third part of the, uh, the weather system is actually the effect it has on the gameplay. It just changes the attitude of the car completely in terms of driving in the dry or, or fully wet or partially damp track. So it's all about the sort of strategy elements at those points where the, the tracks change from wet to dry. The track will evolve as each car individually drives on that surface and uh, yeah, very, very accurate. The track surface actually knows how wet it is. You'll actually find that the gamers on wet tyres on the drying track will try and seek out those puddles to cool their tyres and stop them from damaging. When you're in the car, you've really got no idea what the weather's doing, but the teams, they know by the radar where the weather is coming in from and how long it's going to last. And that's something that will be added into the game as well. You'll be aware of what the weather's doing roughly, and then you can make your call just like you would in real life. The weather system is set up to be completely dynamic for career. It changes over time. So you go to Spa, a typically very unpredictable track. You need to be prepared to alter your car balance as the race weekend progresses so that when you're heading towards that Sunday race day, you think you've got a, you've got a car set up that is going to be balanced for the, the predicted weather conditions. Players can be going along outside the points and, and maybe they make a gamble, the clouds come in, uh, the sky is dark and maybe you, maybe you preempt that the rain is going to come there and you change your tyres early and the player choice is going to be critical at those stages. It brings that new element of launching a multiplayer game with Monaco in a, in a heavy downpour, Monaco in the sun or Monaco when the, the rain just starts coming down. I prefer to play those kind of scenarios rather than switching tracks into reverse or playing point to point. It's about making the game that, that I, I've always wanted to play.